and welcome everyone. I'm Amethyst Greenwich and today is a very happy day. It's time for the May Witch Casket unboxing. So the theme of this box is Threshold Magic, which if I remember the um, the description right, is all about protecting the home. It's all about protecting the entryway, I think. Maybe. Um, we'll see. Um, I was sure I knew what the June theme was. Potions. There we go. Potions. Which is amazing. I love potions. But anyway, it's the May Witch Casket unboxing. A little Luna, maybe. Going to distract her. Little Luna is with me inspecting the casket. I'm not going on my little table. Yes, I know you're cute. You're a lovely, warm, fuzzy cute. But still, I'm not going on my table. Which will knock everything over. And I'd rather you didn't. I know. Sorry. She's laid down. She's fine. So, let's get into it. Now, there is a something else in here. It's an added thing. Special magic. So let's try and put that there. So I like this. That's a really pretty <gasps> doors and windows. The inside artwork. And the message is, hi everyone, thank you so much for subscribing to our May Witch Casket. This casket is all about threshold magic and we hope its contents help you to protect your home and welcome only positive energies. Please read through this pamphlet so you can familiarise yourself with this month's items and our specially selected suppliers. Thank you so much for always tagging your social media posts, hashtag Witch Casket, so we can find and share them. We feel so appreciated when we see the time and creativity that goes into your wonderful pictures. And we love seeing your casket items gracing your magical spaces. Thank you for always making us feel so lucky to be doing what we do. We're busy planning for the next few months caskets and we are working really hard to make them just perfect for you. Until the next time, be well, Deb and Ella. Which is amazing as well. So there's inside cover artwork, the message, and then spoilers. So I'm going to pop this to one side and use it to repack everything at the end. But let's get ready. Oh, I like this. This is one of my favourites. artwork so I love the cat but with the house I mean there's a basket of herbs at the front potion bottles in the bottom corner but in the house you've got herbs hanging down from the, the roof along with a potted plant a, pump, a couple of potted plants and pumpkins and owl all sorts of things. Oh, there's a cauldron. There's a cauldron. There's a cauldron. Oh, I do like that. Now, on the back of it, the art print, artwork, there is now monthly manifestations to help with setting intentions and achieving your goals. 
which is really good. I don't personally use them, but you know, each to their own. I don't have to, it's a suggestion and it's a very nice suggestion as well. Next we have our ritual kit, which is a door wash. Contains everything you need to prevent negativity from entering your home. Now I will open this up, but right at the end, that'll be the last thing I do. But now let's see what we've got. We've got this lovely green bag. And what's inside? We have Four Corners Boundary Stones, which has extra little art print artwork on the back of it. And the info card says, and there are indeed four, that it's inscribed with a pentacle for protection and imbued with the grounding vibrations of earth. Place a stone in each corner of the home for protection. And they do, they do have, they do indeed have pentacles on them. They're all different sizes and shapes. Like I've got a really flat one. That's a really flat one. But I could still use them. I might. I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's a handy dandy little thing. Handy dandy. Because if, even if I didn't want to use them as boundary protections, I could still use them in other spells. So that's the protection stones. Now, what's in this bag? Bells. Which is bells? That's what I'm gonna. It is. It's a protective threshold charm. And again, there's more artwork. And it is a pentacle. The pentacle has long been used by witches as a symbol of protection and the ringing of bells has traditionally been used to clear away stagnant and unwanted energy from the home. This magical protective charm was created for you to hang by or on your door, ensuring whoever is paying you a visit doesn't bring negative energy with them. Not bad. I've got so many of these. I've got an elemental one hung up on a window inside my window instead of witch spells on a tree and then I've got another set of witch spells <laughs> on the wall by my front door because I can't have them on the door because a certain furry little madam will play with them, destroy them, you name it. Although this one she might have a hard time doing. She's ignoring it. She's 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 happily watching the birds. And the bag looks like this. This makes me think of Lord of the Rings. That kind of door makes me think of Lord of the Rings. That's that. Now Threshold salt. Sprinkle this magical salt blend across the threshold to your home to keep negativity at bay. Aromatic salt blend. Rosemary leaf, rosemary oil, and I believe. in a very pretty little jar which has been sealed with um, wax sort of black wax and then there is a cork in there and then salt 
Rosemary. It does smell really nice. Mm -hmm. Handy dandy. Doorway candle. 100% pure soy wax with rose petals. A natural, calming and protective candle to welcome loving vibrations into your home. Light by your door to ensure only positive energy can cross. Light the candle and state this incantation. Negativity shall not cross my threshold. Only loving vibrations may pass. This is my command and what I say shall stand. And of course there is the obligatory warning of never leave a burning candle unattended. Oh, it's a pr proper candle. Chock full. Oh. I look forward to burning that in the future. Now, next we have, oh, this is the free gift. I'm going to leave that for a moment. We have the enameled pin. Enameled pin, enamel pin. I will get my words right. And it does say protected by magic, which is really pretty. I haven't yet done what I wanted to do with all my pins. But it's a it's a pro, it's a work in progress. It's a very long work in progress, but it's it's there. Uh, we have a magical washcloth. Set your intentions and use this enchanting washcloth to cleanse your doors and window frames. Use it with salt water or magical herb infused washes. Be careful not to use any blend that may damage the finish on your doors and frames. Now this is a very, it's a decent sized washcloth, it's bigger than what I would call a flannel and it does say hand wash only, but it's black, oh, that's pretty. That's really nice, I like that. So that's the cloth. We have a scroll and a box and then the free gift. So scroll with the sticker. I think Luna's starting to fall asleep on the windowsill. Bless her. Don't think she quite knows what to do with herself. Poor thing. She's welcome to go and curl up on my sofa. She doesn't always like to leave me alone though, my little shadow. Now she's found a bird to watch. Sorry, I'm I'm watching what she's doing whilst at the same time taking the the scroll sticker seal off. So this scroll is all about threshold and boundary magic. Our home is our safe space and it's natural to want to keep it protected and ensure no, way, no negative energy can pass your boundaries and thresholds. With that in mind, here are some simple ways to protect your space. Visualisation, simmer pots, magical washes, candles, charm bags, bells, witch balls, crystals or stones and threshold salts. <coughs> I do apologise for that. I was trying to avoid it. That will go with the rest of my scrolls. But the box is a witch ball kit. A traditional way to ward off evil spirits and negative energy and protect your home. 
the nettle and rosemary to the bowl with intent to protect. You can also include any other charms, amulets, small crystals or affirmations you desire. These are optional. Hang the ball in your window for protection. So let's have a little. So we've got rosemary. Yep, that's rosemary. And nettle. be very very careful with it because I believe it's glass and I don't want to break it but that is gorgeous and it is a screw top so it's I need to be very careful with that. Probably going to do it, going to do a thing with it, but we'll see. Oh, Luna's on the move. Please don't investigate the things I've got. I've gotten out. Yep, my finger now can go right up your nose. She's now sitting on my little table. Bless her. So that's the witch ball kit. Now, the free gift. It's a key ring. And when uh, Deb and Ella shared this item, I knew what I wanted to use it for, so I've got to do a little bit of um, oh, what's the word? Musical chairs with my key rings. <laughs> so that's the artwork on the back of the info card, which says keys have long been believed to offer protection. So add your keys to this enchanted amulet to keep them safe and to shield you as you open the doors of opportunity. And it's a very pretty key. Fleur de Lee. I do like it. So I've got to play musical key rings instead of musical chairs. So Apart from the door wash ritual kit, that is everything. It is everything. No crystal this time round. Hmm. So let's go through and repack. So we've got the witch ball kit, the lovely green hanging ball. We've got the magical washcloth. We've got the Four Corners Boundary Stones, That's the, the stones with the pentacles on it. Threshold Salt, the lovely little gel, the Protective Threshold Charm, which is which is balls, bells, not balls, bells. Then we've got the doorway candle, which is the lovely 100% soy, wax and rose petal candle. Okay. 
then we've got the Witch's Home art print, which is this lovely thing. We've got the door wash ritual kit, which I will go through in a moment. The threshold and boundary magic scroll. Um, general blurb of all of these scrolls is that you can the information can be copied to your grimoire or book of spells, or you can place it inside your spell book and roll. Uh, framed, the scrolls can also add splendor to the walls of your home. But I don't. I have my own thing with the scrolls. Then we've got the enamel pin, which there. And then we've got a free gift of the enchanted key, key ring. Now, back to the door wash ritual kit. So, contains everything, and it really does. The only thing it doesn't contain is water. <laughs> You need a water like other than maybe a bowl um like general things that you'd have around the house anyway um all the ingredients are here so we have another the lord of the ringsy that's the artwork on the back of the ritual now then it's the door wash ritual kit and we've got three herbs which are numbered but first we have an empty pouch these pouches i prefer to use um i like to use them in uh, bath blends but that's just me so they have the herbs have been numbered both in the pamphlet and on the instructions so first we've got red clover, then we've got hyssop, and the final one is lavender. So those will go into the jars. So all my herbs are in jars, all of them. <laughs> I know where they are, or roughly where they are, but you know. So add the herbs to the pouch, heat water, add the pouch, leave the pouch to steep and as it cools water will be infused with the magical properties of the plants. Then remove the pouch and use the water to wash down the doors to your home. There we go. Nice and easy. I quite like this one. Is everything in the pamphlet. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you'd like to receive your own, um, I'll put all the information in the description for where you can find all the information and details about pricing and the general ethos of witch caskets which um what was it because i've i received my first casket january 2020 that was my first so yeah i've been i've been <laughs> i've been subscribed for a while and i do like it i, do, I love it so that's everything if you'd like to subscribe again all the information will be in the description um you might want to be quick because as soon as we hit the 14th to the 17th that's when the caskets ship and that's when the next round of subscriptions uh reopens if you've got a recurring payment that's fine but if you're wanting to subscribe but you don't know when to just all i would say is subscribe because i 
I'm recording this on a Saturday, literally not even a week after the May casket was being shipped and the June casket subscriptions opened and they're almost, they're, I think last I saw they were at 90% allocated. So they go very, very quick. Um, if you've got a recurring a repeat subscription going on, that's fine. Whenever your payment processes, you can consider that casket yours. Um, so my payment won't clear for another week, which is fine. I know this, it's fine. Um, but yeah, my subscription is set. But that's the May Witch Caskets. Hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this has inspired you to want to subscribe. Also, when you do subscribe, you're given a password to the subscriber only shop where you can acquire items from past caskets, which is really nice. So, yes, if if you have any further questions, I'm fairly certain I've got their email in the description. So you can talk with Witch Casket, the lovely, lovely staff of Witch Casket. Um, and yes, any other questions should be on their website. I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you again soon for some, for either Making Magic, a Lunar Look Ahead or some witchy magical info stay safe everyone and blessings to you all